What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and for today I'm going to taste test camping food. I have three different burns right here. Which one is the best? Let's find out. Pad Thai and mac and cheese right here, that sounds delicious. This one is Alpine Air, veggie burrito bowl and this one rice burrito bowl. And this one is all meal. Pasta fagioli and what is this? Vegetable stew with beef. Sounds delicious. Okay, let's prepare everything. In the back on all of them have easy instruction. Okay, we're going to start it with this one. Let's open it up, see what's inside. Wow, interesting. What is that? No way, it comes with the snacks. There's spices. Peanuts, two lime, wow this is cool, mountain house definitely don't have that and we got here peanut butter, amazing. And what else we got here, let's find out. This is straight up mac and cheese. It says add two cups of boiling water, 48 milliliters and wait 15-20 minutes. Takes a while to warm up this thing. I would say this about right, and then we close it off. This one already has lots of lots of spices, check this out, that looks delicious. But nevertheless we're gonna add on some spices anyways. And I guess we dump in all the spices. And this is going to be 500 milliliters of boiling water, 15 to 20 minutes. Wow, it takes a long time to cook and <coughs> whoa this is strong the spices are actually killing me a little bit by the way you really want to mix everything up because if you don't there's going to be a lot of the right pieces okay let's do this one now let's see what inside this one is ready to go don't have to take anything out there's rice and a bunch of vegetables. Two cups, 500 milliliters. That takes a lot of water. About this much, I'd say that's about two cups. Eh, not big deal. A little bit too much, a little bit too less. And let's see what this one does. Two cups of water, 10 to 12 minutes. So this one's a lot faster being prepared but it don't have any kind of peanut butter. That's about two cups of water. Make sure it's closed all the way and then we can mix it up. And now we're going to put to the test this one. It says open it and remove all the contents. So I'm pretty excited to see what's inside. No way! This is like MRE. This is crazy. This is the first time I see camping food that is set up with a spoon. Wow! What is that? Heating element. There is already a heating element. So we can actually heat everything up with actual cold water. We don't even need hot water. That's insane. Wow! So, you all know how MRE works. You stick this thing inside there. Then we would add a little bit of water, not too much. It probably says how much water you have to add. Three to five ounces of liquid till the fill line. Oh, check this out. There is already a hole down here, so the steam is going to come out. Wow! Never seen a camping food like that before. So both of these foods are freeze dried. This one, I don't think it's freeze dried. It's like MRE type of deal. I wonder if I put hot water, will the heating element will work anyways? Let's find out. Because I don't have any cold water with me. You know what? Ooh, it works really well. Never mind. Ooh. Let's close it. So it doesn't matter what kind of water you're going to put, cold or hot, it's going to work. Honestly, in my book, this camping food is the best because I never seen camping food set up with the heating element. So that way you can eat 
a little warm food without worrying to start a fire or burning the camping stove. I love it. I can't believe this camping food comes with fork and everything. Wow, check this out, same thing. Heating element. I'm we'll gonna put it back in the, the Ziploc bag. Oh, you know what? The fill line is down here, so you wanna fill it up with water up to here. That's it. And it does not have to be hot water. Ooh, it is really hot. Now we wait three to five minutes. That's it. By the way, don't forget to mix everything up once in a while with this other MREs because you don't want any of the dry food inside there. It is still very, very hot. This one I'm going to eat first because it's uh, 10 to 12 minutes. That's all we have to wait. Okay, burrito bowl flavor chicken. I think it's ready. It feels pretty hot. Let's open it up. Wow, look at that food. That looks delicious. So much flavor. This is crazy. Look at that. This is what it looks like on the inside. And the best part is like, you don't even need a plate. You can eat it out of the bag. I can taste a lot of beans, a lot of spices. I can taste chicken. And the rice reminds me of a popcorn rice. Very good. Thumbs up for me for this camping food. I never had that before. And I would not mind it trying out more flavors and stuff. Veggie burrito bowl. It's probably gonna be the same as the other one, except not gonna have any chicken. Look how much it's steaming. It's crazy. So yeah, three to five minutes and your food is ready. Woo! Mmm, this smells like onions and stuff. Veggie burrito tastes good, but you know what? I like chicken a little better. But this is very, very good. A little bit spicy. So you know, these two are pretty good. I like it. Okay, next is pot thai. I wonder what this burnt is going to taste like. Looks like there's a lot of eggs and spices and I can see a bunch of macaron inside there. Wow, look at that. This is, looks delicious. It's hot. Oh wow, this is sour. I guess it's supposed to be sour. Sour and spicy. This is good, but kind of too spicy. I might like mac and cheese way better. This is what mac and cheese turned out to be like. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's funny that I like mac and cheese better than pot thai. I don't know why. Because who does not like mac and cheese? It's cheesy, it has a lot of, I don't know, flavor. After the pad thai, it tastes almost sweet to me. Mmm. Mac and cheese, a very good, definitely recommend. Okay, let's move on to this one. Woohoo! It's still steaming like crazy. Oh! Hot! It's been three to five minutes. We can take it out. Look how much steam there is. This one was started a little earlier, so it stopped steaming. So I will try this pasta veggie first. It's funny that I was trying to test it out the camping food. It turned out into MRE food. This is so cool. Does this look like a picture? This one looks a lot more appetizing, that's for sure. There you go, pasta veggie, cheers. This one is spicy. This is really good actually. Alright, let's see what this one is all about. Vegetable stew with beef. I think I will like this one a little bit better because there's meat. Again, does this look like this picture? Not so much, but again, it's not about presentation, it's about 
you hunger, you in the forest, let's taste it. I see beef, I see potatoes, green beans. Mmm. Yeah. That pasta stew with beef is way better than this vegetable stew. Or pasta veggie. Anyway. I like this is the most. Out of all of this, I'm going use mac and cheese, and this one is my favorite. So hot. Yeah, this is definitely the best. Let me do another shot of this pot thai. It's just so sour and spicy. I like it, but it's not my favorite. And tacos, tacos are good, you know. It just has too much rice. These two camping foods actually taste like camping food. This thing tastes like home food, honestly. Out of the bag, ready to go. Mm. How many calories does this thing have? No way! It says 170 calories. Wow, this is so awesome. Yeah, biggest two winners right here. Mac and cheese and this camping food, especially this flavor. Vegetable stew with beef. But again, the real winner, I didn't even expect it. You know, when you go to the store and you try to pick out camping food, they all look alike. But, turns out to be this one is stayed up, set up like MRE. They just don't have extra bunch of stuff. Stayed up just one meal without any snacks, just with a spoon, salt and pepper. So this is honestly my favorite. It's so easy and you don't have to have any kind of fire to heat up your food. Love this thing so much. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which camping food do you prefer the most if you like to go camping. And of course, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.